Hey, I'm Jude from Primordial Radio, and today we have got the incredibly sad news that Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins has tragically passed away, aged just 50 years old, man. He was found dead in his hotel room in Bogota in Colombia, where the band was scheduled to play a show on Friday night. An announcement at the gig told concert goers that the band would not be playing due to a serious medical condition. The band have released a statement saying they are devastated by the tragic and untimely loss of our beloved Taylor Hawkins. The statement then carries on saying his musical spirit and infectious laughter will live on with all of us forever. Our hearts go out to his wife, children and family and we ask that their privacy be treated with the utmost respect in this unimaginably difficult time. No cause of death has been revealed thus far. Oh man. Like, what? Taylor Hawkins seemed like one of the good guys, man. You know... <sighs> so he was born in Texas in, I think it was like 1972, but he moved to California, Laguna Beach, with his folks when he was just, just a wee kid. And he always seemed like the stereotypical California cool surfer dude. You know, he was dead laid back. He was like, oh man, dude, cool, yeah, yeah. That kind of guy, you know, with like cut off t-shirts and he was a rock star, but he was just a dude, you know? It was 1997 when he was the touring drummer for Alanis Morissette, I think. And uh, he was a friend of Dave Grohl's. And after they'd recorded The Color and the Shape, Foo Fighters had fallen out with the previous drummer. Uh, I, th I think Dave Grohl had re-recorded some of his drum parts for The Color and the Shape. And I think it was William Goldsmith. He didn't like that. <laughs> As you can understand. So Dave Grohl called up Taylor Hawkins and was like, dude, do you know anybody? He didn't think that he'd leave Alanis Morissette's touring band because, you know, Alanis Morissette was on the back of Jagged Little Pill at the time, which was huge. It was the biggest album ever. So there's no way he's going to leave Alanis Morissette's band. But... He spoke to Taylor Hawkins, like, can you recommend someone? And he went, yeah, me. Turns out that he wanted to play in a rock band as opposed to being the drummer for uh, a solo artist. And the rest is history. He joined the band before the release of The Colour and the Shape, I think. So he was he was the, the drummer from then on. And since then, you know, he's, he's sung with the band. He's played guitar, he's contributed piano. He's played with all sorts of artists, including... Slash, including Brian May, including his solo projects, you know, Taylor Hawkins and the Coattail Riders. Seems like one of the nicest dudes. And this is absolutely tragic. Aged 50 years old. 50? What? People shouldn't be passing away at that age. And obviously we don't know why it is, but whatever the reason... It's absolutely tragic. And from all of us at Primordial, and I'm sure from all Foo Fighters fans and from all music fans around the world, our hearts and our condolences go out to his family. Rest in power, Taylor Hawkins.